Welcome to the first episode of Project Zomboid House Flip. I'm Damien Darkside, and I love flipping houses in this game. If you're new to Project Zomboid, this is probably the best home for you to start your new post-apocalyptic life in. And if you're gonna live in the post-apocalypse, you gotta live in style. And with a spacious backyard, you're able to grow all of the crops you need to survive the winter. This home opens up to a small den, full-sized kitchen, a comfortable bedroom, and a small bathroom for your private needs. One of the benefits of this house, especially for new players, is that these walls are so high that zombies can only enter through that front gate. And as long as you're not making any noise, you'll be able to survive a long time. This house is located in a very safe section on the outskirts of Maldi, circled in yellow, which is accessible to all the places you'll still need to be going in order to get all the supplies to survive. Now, when you're first starting off a Project Zomboid and flipping this house, you have to remember that this is a process that takes a journey over time and is a great way for you to see how much you've actually progressed through the post-apocalypse. As you come through the garage, you can see that there's plenty of tools for us to work on our car as we go and loot a whole bunch of buildings. The top of the stairs shows a very great spot for you to check out your surroundings, snipe any zombies if you have any mods with suppressors or hunting rifles, and just generally scope out the weather. There's also some great spots for you to get water from up top. You could also see water being piped from the top of that structure that's above the ice box into the kitchen. You know I gotta put up that Canadian representation as I walk right through these crops like a dingus to show you off our back door to make sure that we have an escape route in case zombies invade the front. Not that it matters, but walking around the crops for aesthetics, I'm able to go inside the house and show you the work that we've done with a pinball machine, green gun cabinet, and a fully stocked kitchen that's just waiting for us to go inside and create some new dishes. Above my bed, you can see that I put two floating cabinets just so that you can have some extra storage for your weapons and protection. And inside of our bathroom, we have some medical supplies in case if we get injured. Out front, we see the generator generating us power. And now we're able to survive into the winter and into the apocalypse. So let's hop into our van, find a new spot for us to live in, and let's see what else we could flip. Where do you like to survive in Project Zomboid? Do you have any suggestions on places that I could flip? This game gives us so many tools you can make a home just about anywhere in the apocalypse. Make sure you don't miss out on other house flips and other content from me, and you can jump onto our Twitch channel, where you're able to join in this live, where I do play more Project Zomboid, as well as other games that are modded. Thanks for stopping by, and stay safe in the apocalypse.